Baton Rouge Prison Stories Part 2. What's with, happening with you, bro? With Marlon Pee Wee Joseph. The one and only true storyteller. What's going on with you, my boy? How you feeling, man? I'm cool. I'm cool. I'm trying to get these stories out like we say, you know? Let's go. Let's get it, man. Yeah. So, on the last interview, I seen a lot of the comments, a lot of people asking and want to know, what was you even locked up for from the you know how you got in there all right see i was reading that checking out some of the stories too when it was asking comments but a lot of people don't know i really got caught up on drug charge and um it was selling marijuana and um when i moved from new rose to baton rouge i was still on probation i just never confronted it with my probation officer mm -hmm. so i came across the bridge and um what happened was they stopped me right there and then that's when i got on the hole but it was back then when you was getting a charge, you know, it was under that old law. So they offered me seven years probation, seven years suspense. I mean, they're thinking it's good because I'm getting ready to go home. They say you could go home today. So I tucked that shit and railed with that shit, not knowing that this shit could go on with their own, their own process, you know. That's part about being in the system. That's the shit they don't tell you, you know. So that's how I really got caught up. And that's why I used to always say... I'm not considered as this type of criminal, you know what I'm saying? They got murderers and killers and all stalkers and, you know, aggravated rapists and shit like that. But me, I was just a non-violent person, you know? So that's when I was telling people I shouldn't be in this, you know? So when y'all got jammed up, which you was by yourself? Or what, nah, what, what? nah, nah. Actually, I was with a dude that was working with me. And you know, I ain't gonna call his name and put him on no blast and no shit like this. Okay. But this is how the story went. Um, we went to bought a, um, some marijuana. Uh -huh. And so we went about the marijuana, the dude that we normally would get it from, he didn't have it. So I went to one of his bars. And so happened, you know, we got it, we scored, and everything went, was going back ahead in the work. Then he had a car pull up behind us and a car pull on the right side and one pull up in the front of us. And I'm looking at my dude, I'm like, man, we got to get rid of this shit, you know what I'm saying? And he started telling me to keep this bitch in the car. They're not going to do you nothing for it, you know what I'm saying? They're not going to do you nothing for it. So, um, blase, blase, long story short, this is what happened. The cops pulled us over, we pulled over. And I got the package in my hand, you know, and all of a sudden he was gone. So they okay. took me to the detective place. And when I went to the detective place, they was ready to me talk about some way, somehow, he was using me to get to the, you know, to get to another man. So it's like he signed me up, really, on some real shit. Yeah. So that's how I really got caught up in it. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, and that, that's why I say I don't hang around dudes no more. <laughs> they were already cutthroat. That's why I say the snitches are still on the street. <laughs> So what, what, what was your first day like in, 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 in Baton Rouge Parish Prison? My first day? It was a day I wanted to end, wanted to get over with, right there and there. You know, I was trying to tell y'all about the zoos. My first day going is getting collected commissary. My first day collecting commissary. And what so happened was, you know, your zoos is like your hygiene, your soap, your candy, your popcorn, your lotion, your t you know, shit <laughs> yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you got all your shit. So in the process of me learning about this shit, I got a whole bunch of people on the side of me helping me fill out my stow sheet. Me not knowing that me feel, I'm really filling out the stow sheet for them. You know what I'm saying? I actually went through the moment when they called my name out and said, um, stow call. So as I'm going to pick up my items and shit like that there, I got everything, everything was on the, on the list. So I go back in the cell, you know what I'm saying, get ready to put on my shit. And you know what I'm saying? Here they go, they holler child. So when they holler child, you know, some people linger back, some people stay. Some people stay for all the wrong reasons, like to steal your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like they stole my shit. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I had my stamps, my envelopes, my deodorant, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? My girl just, you know, got money for me to do this shit. Yeah. And here it is, these motherfuckers sitting in the plot the whole fucking time on how to get my shit. And they got it, real shit. They got it. So, well, they took you, they took your zoos? Yeah, they take them. Man, they clean house. And the crazy part about it, you got to sit there in the cell, you know, on, on F Wing, where the shit was happening at. It's a bunch of cells, you know what I'm saying? They separated, got like about six of them in, in one thing. You know, on F Wing, I'm sitting in there looking at all five of the other motherfuckers just sitting there munching and eating off of my shit, you know? So, you know, like I say, I ain't about no drama, and I meant that shit. So I ain't about to fight a motherfucker, you know, with some fucking zoos, but I do lose a lot of respect, and I, I did lose that shit, because this shit kept happening, happening. Damn. You know what I'm saying? But that goes saying, you know, it ain't no security in this motherfucker to watch it, you know? So all that shit came to play. God damn. All right. What was the first fight you had in there? My first fight. My first fight I had, I was on, I really was on K2. 
and I was with um, St. Clair, I was with Tremaine Seps, I was with Super Cripple State, a Big Head, and a couple of other dudes. And you see, the way they did shit, it was different. You know, they go into sales. There was too many sales. So if they had a red car like that, motherfucker come out there, no matter, all the way down the tent and punch you out, no matter where you at, motherfucker, you gotta go in that motherfucker. Damn. You know what I'm saying? If you ain't got shoes, they got shoes for you, in other words. If you wanna fight bad feet, it's bad feet, that's on you. I procrastinated, you know what I'm saying? I need some shoes. It took me an hour and a half to put on some motherfucking shoes, but motherfuckers caught on to that shit. <laughs> Real shit, man. So as you know, my first fight was with a dude named Baby Charles. And he was from, um, I forgot, it might have been Gardell or out the bottom. And um, they called it BC. And I had enough balls to point out. He pointed me out and I pointed him out because the simple fact was he was a little shorter than me. Yeah. You know? But I wasn't paying attention. His arms were swollen and cut up and shit like this. I wasn't paying attention. He looked like he wanted to win. You know, so as I go in the cell, motherfuckers don't give you a chance. When I went in the cell, motherfucker teed off on me. Teed off on me. Real shit. And he teed off on me so much. I was running out the thing, motherfucker caught me and pushed me back in that bitch, you heard? Real shit, put me back in that motherfucker. And the fights go on as long as they say they want to go on. You got to be the motherfucker to come in there and say, that's enough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and sometimes they like to watch this shit so it don't never get to be enough, in other words. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, it don't yeah, never yeah. get to be enough. Yeah, yeah, they like to watch the, uh, yeah. the, the, the fights and Man. shit. Man, see the thing about K2, them bitches was different. And, and, and they, they operated really, really, like, you wouldn't pay attention to her. You know what I'm saying? I remember my dog, I was, one time they ain't had no cigarettes. See, that was really started a lot of bullshit. The when they, when they, yeah, when, you know, the parish had cigarettes at one time. So it took away from a lot of that stress shit mm -hmm. for smoke. But see, when they took that bitch back, that's when shit got bad for them and me. Real shit. It got real bad for me. Bad. Yeah, and I, was, I remember my dog, he, one time he broke his fucking arm. Real shit just to go to Earl K. Long to get some fucking cigarettes in the casket. Damn. Real shit, it came back through too. Yeah, it took, it came back through. But I ain't smoking other cigarettes. I watched them smoke, like, you know. <laughs> Real shit, I couldn't get into that shit like yeah. that, man. Them niggas dogs on those cigarettes. <laughs> you know, they was beasts. You know, certain so shit, you just don't do it. I just didn't do it. <laughs> man, I, I hear, what, what, what is Eric K. Long? I hear the rappers talking about that in the songs and all kind of shit. Eric K. Long was one of the best hospitals they ever had in BR. It's a hospital? Yeah, it was a, it was a hospital. It's a place that saved pretty much everybody, you know what I'm saying? But it's a place where they take their inmates, just take them inmates and go in. It wasn't any other hospital we used to go to, straight to Earl K. Long. And you sit at the bottom, and on the bottom, they got guards in there with you, but they leave you out in there. So if you got an enemy in that bitch down there with you, it's getting up there. And when you're already at the hospital, so you ain't got nothing to lose, they can fix you up and repair you. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. So, okay. Okay, you say you say you had over a hundred fights in there, and you lost them all. Who get to, give me the worst three ass weapons you got in there besides the first one you said on the other interview? What about the one that I whooped my ass, got my ass whooped so bad at the car room? Yeah, yeah. On me. But, yeah. But besides that, when was the was the, give me give, give me the next three worst ones? Um, uh, I said one of my worst ones was when I say I was on. Um, in the Q building. Okay. And uh, well, I thought everything was good, everything was straight, and it was on lockdown already. You know, so the phones and everything was jammed up. But it's the point of getting hit without knowing you're getting hit. Damn. You know what I'm saying? When, you, when you're not looking at that shit, when you're not expecting that shit. But I got my ass whooped so bad that time. My eyes were swollen. My lips was almost halfway cricket. You know, I, and I bought, I could say I kind of bought it on myself. Because I should have never got no zoos from a nigga. You right. know what I'm saying? I should have never two for one of a nigga knowing that my shit wasn't in my money. You know, anything that happened and delaying the mail was a normal procedure for that bitch. Right. But that was another one of them. And um, now, I was in the cell with a motherfucker. And um, what had happened was the dude was in there fighting another one of my partners in that bitch. Mm -hmm. So I'm laying in the top bunk bed and it started swinging and shit like that. So I decided to try to jump out the bed and try to get out there. So I was fighting for my life, really I didn't know I was fighting, you know what I'm saying? But the dude was really hitting on both of us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I ain't really had shit to do with it, you know what I'm saying? The dude was just hitting on both of us. So as I tried to get out the cell, motherfuckers started bopping me from the back. 
You know what I'm saying? Bopping me from the back. I, you know, n n the average person would probably turn around and start back bobbing. Yeah. Nah, me, I'm going to the fucking gate and holler definitely. That's what the fuck I got to do to get out here to save my life. So that was another one. But the third, uh, the third worst one was when I got a chance to get shipped. And I didn't know I was going to be shipped out. You know, you don't get the obligation to say where you want to go and when you want to go. But when the prison full, they got to separate and get rid of some of these people. It just so happened, that's what they did. So they shipped me off to um, Rivers. So I went to Rivers. And um, we got through the process and everything. And all this shit came along. And um, they put me in a dorm. It was D dorm. And in D dorm, they had a lot of dudes from Baton Rouge in that mm -hmm. bitch. And um, the whole day, everything was good. There ain't nothing hit till the lights hit dimmed up. And it was like about 7 to 8 o'clock that night. They got a motherfucker named Bigfoot in that bitch, bro. And I didn't realize D Don wasn't for me until I seen this motherfucker slap the fuck out, out, out of this dude. And when he slapped him, the dude spent the whole 360. By that time, I was going to the guard keep to give me a request for him to get the fuck off the dorm. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? To get off that bitch. And that's how I met Mac. Okay. And that's how I come across running Mac Miller. So, yeah, Mac, Mac from No Living. Yeah, Mac was sales. Mac sales shop. Okay. Mac used to cut hair at, um, at Rivers. Okay. And he used to be on the hall cut hair. So, Mac told me one time to fill out a request for him as well, and he was going to get me pulled. So, just so happened, he actually did that shit. But me not knowing that I was going to be his actually selling, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I slept on top of him, and he slept on the bottom. And Mac saved my life a couple times. And when I say this, this shit, being in Rivers, uh -huh. it ain't about taking ass or nothing like that, but motherfuckers see the opportunity, they gonna do this shit. So, okay, that's what I was trying to get to. So, when Mac saved you from yeah. from what? Some guys trying to whip you? Some what guys happened, trying what, to what, take what, you what, what happened was, uh, I just filled out the shit out there, and uh, a lot of shit that came with me, my hygiene and stuff, it stayed at the parish. They didn't ship that shit with me. So, um, uh, Mac um, helped me fill out a stove. And then one day he went on a hall, he went on a work, work call, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so I'm still at the dorm. I ain't never got to decide whether I'm going to be on road crew or whatever because I was in a trustee dorm with him. So I didn't, you know, so he, when he left, they had a couple other dudes that was laid back that was on a crew. And um, I had my sack bag held up right there. And um, what happened was they was taking my shit out. And other dudes was holding, holding me to the back. Just holding me, you know what I'm saying? Holding me like this here, just keeping me from going, mm -hmm. moving. So I don't know what it was or what happened, how it was. Mac came back in the dorm, you heard me? And when he came back in the dorm, he gave me a name called Scrappy Dude. <laughs> he said, you gotta learn how to fucking fight, Scrappy Dude. You gotta learn how to take care of yourself. But I don't know if he thought we were scuba doing Scrappy Dude because this Scrappy didn't have no fights in it. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? But he, he saved, he, he got him, he got him in line, checked him for me. You know what I'm saying? And the way he checked him, it was simple. It's like something, well, I could have did this shit here. I could have said back up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it didn't work with me when I said that shit. But he, he helped me through that shit. He gave me a nickname and they called me Scrappy Dude. And we, I stayed with him almost a year. So what, didn't I heard you say one time, like, some guys had you, had then grab you, grab your leg or something, then Mac came? Right there, and, and run, run me through that one. See, what happened was we were sleeping. Okay. And um, all of a sudden, I don't know what it was, something told me to wake up more, and I woke up. And um, niggas was grabbing me and pulling me. Yeah. And holding me down tight. And I, I you know what I'm saying, I don't know what it was. Like, you think it's shit a dream, bro, but it's real. So I'm calling out for Mac Nay, you know what I'm saying? I don't see him nowhere around the bed. But just so happened, he came and saved me with I actually thought niggas was going to try to do something, but they really, in my mind, that's what. But they played games. Yeah. And the penitentiary games they play, you never know what the outcome is. Yeah, yeah, you don't know what they were So you to. don't know what the intention was, but I didn't know because I'm scared for my life. So I'm hollering out, Mac, Mac, you know, real <laughs> shit. And he'll tell you this shit from this day, bro. He really got me through that year with him. Yeah. You know, because, you know how I say when a motherfucker take you under their wing, they take you under the wing means it's almost like you mark, you, you, you straight, don't fuck with him. Yeah. That shit lasted as long as I was there. But any other place I went, that shit went away. You know, it's like I had to start all over with yeah, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Damn. So Meg looked out for you. Yeah. Looked out for me, kept my hair cut, you know, did push ups and shit like that. Try to teach me how to go my set up. But every time we come to a fight, I'm mad, mad. <laughs> Fuck all that. You have that sense, you know. 
<laughs> and we, and we, man, I was the best dude I met in that bitch, bro, you know? He really did get me through that yeah. shit, though. I mean, the nights I'd have cried to that dude, bro. Yeah. I'd have cried to him and tell him, man, I'm ready to go home, bro. I'm ready to go home, man. Is this shit going to ever end? And he always said, it's going to come to an end, but when? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got called out before me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Real shit, though. So, bro, like, out of all these fights, like, what, what, what it was about? Like, it was, you was gambling, you was getting into nah, shit? Nah, bro, nah, Or nah. niggas was just fucking nah. with you to be nah, fucking with you? at one point of time, it was just they was fucking with a nigga. Just to it, be fucking with it? Just to be fucking with it, bro, just to be them. Like I said, when you different and you not from this bitch, you, you, you got to understand what I'm saying. And shit like a mark on you. You know what I'm saying? You can talk how you want to talk, gangsta how you want to think. But I was different. And when I say the fights just... I don't know, man. It looked like I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time, majority of the time. You know what I'm saying? When motherfucker holler red call, you ain't got nothing to toss but the fucking fight. Whether you want to or not, you could say you don't want to fight, and they still gonna beat yeah. on you. You know what I'm saying? You could say that shit. You could be running to the gate, hollering about death, death, get out. They still gonna get on you until the people come. Then some of the bitches gonna beat you to the why they right there. But I've been there. Yeah, That's why it. I tell her, bro. The hardest motherfucker could go walk in there, bitch, you gotta get it up there. You gotta uh, yeah. really get it up there. I ain't saying my hands ain't good. I'm just saying I ain't had no hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now tell me, tell me about Red Call when they want to dance with you. Red Call, man. Red Call is, is, is so fucked up, bro. I don't know whatever nigga invented that shit. He need to be knocked the fuck out, <laughs> real shit. Cause Red Call will get you killed. And like I tell motherfuckers, Red Call is like you got about how many niggas on the tier? Thirty or forty motherfuckers on the tier, and everybody. Might be in their little orange, in their muscle shirts and shit like that. Let's call it the BBC zone. And, 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 and it's the part you gotta pick out a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna pick out you because in my mind, you bigger than me. Yeah. But there ain't no winning in that bitch because you can point out to the little shortest motherfucker. Yeah. The bitch got hands. You real shit? Yeah. He got hands. And when the motherfucker said Red Carl, that was my cue to try to go get on the gates then. Yeah. In other words, I had enough of that shit. That was my cue. So whenever I heard a motherfucker say red car, I'm finding a way to get out that bitch. Real shit. <laughs> I, 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 see what say them motherfuckers now today, that they always talk about they, that they real as shit. Back then they ain't had no, you know what I'm saying? It was the South, it was Easy Town, it was Park Town, it was anything they had their own son of business. You know what I'm saying? If, if you went on that line and you wasn't from that, you about to get the fuck off that line. That's just the bottom line. Yeah. <laughs> See, now they asking which kind you want to be on. So I guess they could be safe. They don't have a clue what the fuck a motherfucker really went through. You know what I'm saying? I couldn't say I was on Bird Station. I wasn't from the Bird Station. You know what I'm saying? They ain't have a line for just new roles. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For a gas or a bachelor. Fuck no. They had the seven put us in one of them bitches. And whatever I say you find out, you better show sure get it up there with it in your mind knowing that's where you from. Until a motherfucker find out that's where you you from. But you said them niggas like the deck, what they got a dance yeah, style man, look, when they fight? With say, them. bro, I, all I remember when I was coming up, I had this hip shit like this hip. Yeah. Now these motherfuckers, <laughs> I can't even keep up with it. It's like they're doing a shuffle. <laughs> and boy, sometimes they do a cute shuffle like that, they whoop the shit out you. <laughs> but I, I couldn't get it. But when I seen the motherfucker, I swing at a motherfucking motherfucker. Everybody can't be Holyfield. Everybody move out the way. It's like they got a new dance or some shit. <laughs> but you can hear them in the... God That's damn. all you hear, bro. That's all you hear. <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tennis shoes moving, Say, bro. I used to be scared so bad to come back from third child because after third child, I ain't no more coming out that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no more really crossing over or none of that shit there. And, and with his third child, you, you could pray to see the next day. Or you can hope to see the next day. Yeah. Or you can go to sleep and pray to wake up the next day. As long as you see it. But it wasn't always that part. Real shit, man. Man, I, I man, you know, motherfuckers, no respect. No respect. No respect. And that's what I said, they ain't got no respect. You got motherfuckers in there rapping all night. You know what I'm saying? Why you trying to rest the car? I'm thought we was getting time. These yeah. bitches act like they at home. You know what I'm saying? Like they free. They rapping, freestyling, beating on drums. You know, and shit like that. <laughs> you know, but it shit, it, 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 if you ain't from that shit and you ain't used to that shit, it would drive you insane. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It'll make you don't never want to go to sleep. Yeah, damn. Fuck what they talking about. I always slept with one eye open, but that shit didn't do nothing because they cover your other eye. Look like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, they, they raw, bro. <laughs> it's rap, and I couldn't, for the love of God, never understand them motherfuckers. But that's them. Yeah. That's how they rock. 
Uh, damn, man. You, you you ever got jumped like by more than one dude? I ain't never said I got jumped. But I said, said niggas sat there after one nigga got through fighting, another nigga came and intervened and we started a fight. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty much all like red card. Nigga figure like you oh, ain't got right. oh, yeah. so After you finish fighting with one, another one. Yeah. Could, could, nigga feel like you ain't got enough. Nigga getting back on your ass. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but I don't know what they was looking at when they look at me because I always had enough. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I always had enough, bro. You had enough. I always I had enough. Did. I always had enough, man. Bro, the ass, like I said, bro, it ain't about the ass whoopings. It's about how they come at you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Them motherfuckers will bait you in like they're your best friend. You know what I'm saying? Sit there, you watch movies together. Yeah. You play dominoes together. You play chess and checkers together, and all this other shit. And then less than a half a split second later, the motherfucker turn it on you. Damn. Real shit. Man, zoos I could never for the love of God keep. Damn. You know, I ain't know what call I would tell my lady I, I need another bottle order, you just bought me these bitches last <laughs> week. You know, that shit looking crazy, but where did it go? But well, baby, I didn't eat it. I damn. had to share this shit. Share this shit to survive. Yeah, you damn. know, you do want me to come home, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By any means necessary. Yeah, damn, man. By any means necessary. See visitation, so, like visitation. Mm-hmm. It's real about visitation. You know, it's, it's, it's the shit that they do, like I say. Motherfuckers get fresh orange and put them under their mattress and make sure them bitches start stuff for visitation like you gone somewhere. Yeah. You ain't got but 15 minutes to look through a motherfucking window. You know what I'm saying? My 15 minutes come so fast, you know, when my girl come there, it's like, baby, can you please find out, can I get moved on another line? Yeah. You know, fuck how you doing. Yeah. I'm telling you how I'm doing. Damn. Can you help me get this, like, um, you gonna send me this here? I gotta pay these, you know what I'm saying? I'm late feet. I'm on late fees, shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're on late feet. Yeah, I gotta get this shit out the way. You know how the kids is? Fuck them kids. I need you to understand. <laughs> I'm in this bitch and you out there. You know what I'm saying? You still enjoying your motherfucking life. Can you help me some kind of way in this bitch to get out this? You know what I'm saying? So they say, time's up. All oh, hell went down. Now you gotta go back there and stress and shit. But motherfuckers get all fresh and clean. Um, Razor, get a comb and a razor. Cut them bitches, you know what I'm saying? Ball fit. I paid yeah. for a couple of haircuts. Fuck, paid for them bitches. The old lady still didn't come visit me. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Real shit. Sometimes she came. Sometimes when I wanted to see her. <laughs> as that and, nerve, as and, that nerve, you know, get that visit. Nah, man, cause you already know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I called home with my bitch was teeth already. And real shit. <laughs> man, look, <laughs> you lose it all, bro. Don't think, you know. And I, and bro, I was down to the bottom. I went to the bottom of it, bro. It's like, this shit was an ongoing process. My best day was when it said, pack your shit all yeah. the way home, all that, the way. That was your best day? That was my best day when they say all the way. You know, I knew it was coming, but it, 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 it fucked with me in the process to get to that part. You know how many years I done seen waiting on that? The time I done waited, times I got shot back with courts and shit like that. The time I had to go back in these cells and fight but not fight, but watch them fight me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Shit like, I had to do this shit, bro. But to survive, that wasn't, man, look. <laughs> say you adopt to your environment, I couldn't adopt to that shit. <laughs> you could, you and and I like the me. Pink Panther. Nah, <laughs> nah, 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 you couldn't adapt Fuck to that. Fuck no, bro, huh? bro. But it, you know, it, 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 it's just weird, though. All the dirt you do out on the streets, that shit follow you. You know what I'm saying? You're a motherfucker from the street, you gotta pay him in there. <laughs> yeah. It ain't so, no fun so, when the rabbit got the gun, bro. <laughs> so, how important it is to pay your bill in jail? Oh, man. It's very, very important. Because you can lose out on a lot of shit you had. Your manhood. Hey, bro, I keep telling people, I'm glad I didn't have the chance to experience that. Because I'd have seen that shit. But it's very important to pay your debts out. If you owe a nigga something, pay that nigga this shit. You know what I'm saying? Some motherfuckers tell you they don't want it back. Give it to them back then anyway. You do that. Yeah. That's to clear you yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I'm saying? Them, because yeah. the motherfucker might come when you're sleeping and laying on your stomach and might want to come get it back. <laughs> Real shit. Yeah. Hey, bro, I don't know how I bypassed all that shit. Hey, bro, I just got on my knees praying many nights. God, please let me know. And my ass is all I got. That's all I got. This, my ass is all I got. I'd have prayed many nights. And for the love of God, I swear to God, sometimes 
I see you answer my prayers just to live to get another ass whooping. That just, you know <laughs> what I'm saying? Damn. Hey, bro. But I tell people all the time, it's real. <laughs> it's real. It ain't it, the shit that people like to hear, but it's the people that you, you got to tell them. Because if, if I don't tell you how bad that shit really is, then you might want to go test it out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm trying to save you the trouble. If somebody ever try to take your booty in jail? No, I would say. They never came at me like that. Nobody ever came at you. They never like came that. at me like that. Because the part that really helped me got through like that, a lot of niggas, but I did go to a lot of places. Mm -hmm. It was a person that knew me, yeah. but didn't know me. You know what I'm saying? Knew me for the streets, but didn't know me. And for them to be let some shit like that go down like that, that means that, you know what I'm saying, it ain't, you know, what it, what, what it really was. Uh -huh. But it ain't never got to that. It ain't really, ne it ain't okay. really never, even, I don't think niggas really, I just think when I seen niggas do that shit, it was just honest because the niggas was already in it. You right. know what I'm saying? Right. And that's the honest truth. I mean, I, I see niggas get their ass whooped so bad. But it still it never came to me like that. Yeah. You know? I can make a motherfucker laugh and smile and forget about what the fuck they're doing when I gotta save my life. But it didn't save me from getting my ass whooping. You know what I'm saying? We laughed about this shit after. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Real shit. What happened what 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 happened if a guy is a snitch in prison? I say like if he All right. was a snitch on the street or something, he came in there, people know he a snitch. The cause of the snitch that what what it's, it's a very thing to happen. You go in that bitch there, you a snitch, you gonna get whooped either way it go. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? For, by, by the time you got a police car, police probably better whoop your ass itself. <laughs> that's how, yeah, that's how it really is. But being a snitch, for the love of God, I, I used to take that same nigga's ass. Yeah. That made it work. Because when you tell it on some niggas, you, you, you think you're gonna be all right. Yeah. Now don't get it twisted. I ain't never been a snitch, but you fucking right. <laughs> Save my life. It's the difference between pussy and smart. Yeah. Real, real shit. It's a big difference. Yeah. I was pussy. I was pussy until I was smart enough to know what the fuck I was pussy. Yeah. And when I, I meant that when I say, I can't, I see a deputy. And yeah, I talk to many deputies. Yeah. I don't, okay, can you get me off this line? Such and <laughs> such. Your shit. I, I can't live with him. And I knew if I had said that there, some help was coming eventually. Yeah. But sometimes it never came. Real shit, but snitches to I don't I don't get it. I don't get what you, I don't get it. I don't get it, bro. That's something for the love of I could never tell, like rat on a nigga, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. How? But I don't see them turn out bad for just telling all niggas like snitches. You know what I'm saying? Some niggas don't make it bad, but like I see all the snitches out here free. Real <laughs> shit. Real time. Real shit. They out here. T tell me about that A wing, man. A wing. <laughs> a wing is a fool. <laughs> When you go down anyway, it's like you completely walking down a hall. They might have one light here in the air, about 10, 20 steps down another light. And it's, you go to the end, they got A1, A2, A3, A4 on, on different sides. Yeah. So I went in A4, and A4 was kind of fucked up for me because like I said, when the guards racked the gates back, I actually thought he was racking for me, but he was really racking for them to come see me, see the fresh meat in yeah. that inmate. You know, bro, and, 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 anyway, it was a disaster because it was really one of my experiences that I didn't want to go to because this is the time I got to ask a motherfucker for my bump. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got to ask a nigga that's sitting there, got his deal on his socks, his shit on top of my, I got to ask him to move my shit, his shit, so I can put my shit up there. Yeah. And me not knowing that nigga big as a motherfucker that I got to ask that shit to. So fuck that shit, I'm going to just leave this shit right here and I'm going to what they call the day room. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, it's, it's, you, you try to fit in, bro, but you really ain't fitting in because they really acting like they hard. And you know what I'm saying? You be like... What's that? What's up? Nigga don't speak to you all the time. <laughs> and that shit hit me. It hurt me. Because, you know, I'm like, man, I'm speaking to this bitch ass nigga. He don't want to say nothing to me. I'm trying to get in. I'm trying to get cool. I'm really trying to feel this out if it's just a place for me to be. You know? And I had to see that shit. But a -Wing, you could lose it. They had many bad things happening. The motherfuckers down there was knives this fucking big. God damn. Like they warriors or some shit. Where to get them knives from? They Fuck, are you asking me? <laughs> man, only one I seen made it that from scrap was one put to a toothbrush. 
And the motherfucker broke the razor down. He put the razor inside the toothbrush. And he filed that bitch a real, real good. He had me tipped in line when I seen him doing that shit. Because you never know who his fault. Damn. But I don't, you know, for all the fighting and shit, they got motherfuckers get stabbed up. They got bodies. They had a couple people die in that bitch. Damn. That shit. They don't tell you that shit, but they don't want to make themselves look like they not doing their job. Who do? But it, it's something about that parish, bro. Damn. You know what I'm saying? All of the camps and the places I've been to, they don't never compare to that bitch. It, it don't compare to that, to that, to that Man, bad news that parish. bitch worse than a nightmare on M Street. God You understand damn. me? So it's like you was living in hell. In I it. was. I was. And, 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 and you know how they say you get a second chance and, and all this shit. When I got my second chance to get out there in hell, I stayed out. But it's a process, man. When you got time, you got to figure out what to do in that bitch. And it's not always going to be what you want to do because you got motherfuckers in them doing shit that you don't want to do, making you do shit that you don't want to do. Like, if you was fighting back then, bro, and a nigga get their ass real whooped real bad, it's an add-on charge. Yeah. Now, here's the kicker. You got to go tell them people they whoop your ass <laughs> like that. Yeah. Now, I got to go tell them people they whoop my ass that back. Then got to go back on this fucking line so I'm getting the motherfucker press charges on the same motherfucker sleeping with? <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah, because it, yeah, it yeah. keeps right on it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Man, I used to just to want to get out and just go see shit. I used to fill out motherfucking um, request form just to go walk to the informant. Ain't nothing wrong with me and shit like that. Yeah, just to get a fresh just, breeze, a fresh yeah, air. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Fresh breeze. But you gotta be careful in that shit. Because like I say, you ain't safe nowhere in that motherfucker. Nowhere safe. No, ever. no, fuck no. Man, we used to go to church. In that bitch, like real church, they got a chaplain in that yeah. bitch. We used to go to church in there, and when I said to God, ain't nowhere near that bitch, he ain't nowhere near that bitch. Ain't nothing but the no. devils and Lucifer yeah. and angels in that bitch, rapper. Man, the demons. They Damn. fighting in there, looking at. They, they, got, fighting, they fighting in church. Yes, yes, they fighting in church. Man, the people running out there, they motherfuckers self trying to get the fuck out there. Fuck right. saving the motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> damn. Real shit. And, but I, I remember that, but I remember just going to the front of the sister book, and, and right there they got the women line. You know, we got a tendency to do some dumb shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, we gonna holler at a bitch that's already locked up. We locked up together. <laughs> we gonna be right for those kikes to each other. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you about to see this bitch got 27 years and then you got 13. <laughs> there ain't no way in the hell you gonna connect. <laughs> but, you know, it's the dumb shit you do, you know what I'm saying, to try to joke and pass time. That shit, dog, you know, it always, you know, it's the part that if you could make it through the day, you good. And I ain't saying the shit that you got to go through to make it, but you mm. going to make it. I am. But your manhood is your manhood. I ain't never had the experience like that shit. <laughs> but the, didn't know what was coming. That's what's always fucked me up. Yeah. You know, I, I, I done walked through tears, motherfucking nobody smiling. Damn. Motherfuckers just sitting there like zombies. And all it takes is one motherfucker to fuck up dumbass to walk in like me. Yeah. God is why. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, it's real, but I, I try to laugh about this shit, bro. But, man, it's... Now, it, now, it, now, did somebody ever sneak you off guard? Like, like you was yeah, just doing some shit? You right. minding your own business, man. and out, out of nowhere, somebody just come Man, come I went to the phone on Q7. And like I said, the phone, when those bitches hang it down, they hang it down, bro. It made the same thing as they hang it upside down. Do not fucking touch them. Yeah. So I put my matches down and all that shit there. And uh, see the phones. And then that shit, yo. I picked that bitch up. I only call it. They say, oh, we got one. I'm like, what the fuck you mean we got one? You know what I'm saying? Just go to the fucking call. So I'm still on the fucking thing. That nigga, bam, snuffed the shit out of me. <laughs> and look. The guards and them, all them bitches right there looking at me shit. They flashing their light, but I'm thinking they flashing light to try to come get me and shit like that. They flashing light, they coming to get that nigga. You gonna still leave me in that motherfucker with him? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gonna still leave me the motherfuckers with them bitches like that? But they, it, it's, it's the part, bro. Your help ain't your help. You really see, by yourself. See, so you you used to fight back? Like, they hit you, you swing back? Or? Man, look. I, 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 my fight back wasn't the way they want me to fight back. <laughs> Man, I understand what the fuck I'm telling you. The way they wanted me to fight back was with my hands. Yeah. The way I fought back with my legs running to the fucking gate. <laughs> to the motherfucking gate. I used my muscles, my calves. My, I ran to the motherfucker, and so, I, I used my boss as so loud as I you, could. So you use your legs, these foot to fight. You yeah. trying to get for round. Man, up. bro. Man, I, man. Say, bro, what, 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 what make me want to fight? 
I used to see the dudes fight before me. And when I see how bad they got their ass whooping, that shit got me thinking I'm about to get one exactly the same. You know when your mama whooping your sister and you know you next? Yeah. And you got that fear. You know you about to get the same ass whooping. And that's the shit I had, bro. Man, I could, man, because some of them dudes too big to be fighting us, bro. Real right, shit. Right, right, When you right, got yeah, a motherfucker yeah. that's 380-something pounds, six foot seven, what the fuck I look like fighting you? I'm half of your leg size. But you, you the shit. Cause you knocking motherfuckers out. Yeah. Include me. You don't have some point of time wake me up. You know. But so, so, well, it didn't come to a point. You didn't get your shank or nothing. No. Fuck no, man. Them shanks. Man, what the fuck? I look like walking down there with a fucking shank. You know how the shit you gotta go through to get the shank, and then when you get the shank, you gotta have the balls and the nuts to, to put to use the bitch. <laughs> like I said, I ain't never shot a pistol. I got me for. You think I'm about to cut a nigga in that bitch? And I gotta stay up, man. Them niggas see you no matter where you go in that bitch. If I stab John up on B Wayne, I guarantee by the end of the day I'd have seen him on C Wayne. <laughs> Real shit. Hey, bro. I I I I done seen my silly head shakes, and after I got a good ass from a couple times, I, it, the thought crossed my mind. But it's that other thought, you know, he gonna whoop your ass. <laughs> you know, when you pull it out, you ain't gonna use it. You know what I'm saying? So, so your defense was 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 running. My my them. back calf. Oh, your zoos. On my high boys. Deputy, deputy, <laughs> can't live. <laughs> Real shit. And you, when you gotta yell so loud, where well, they gotta hear you, cause like I say, them bitches way down the motherfucking tip. But you had to holler loud. To yeah, fuck. yeah. And then I had to do a little procrastinating, cause you know, like I say, you run into the gate. I'm using my calves. I'm running to the gate. And then you still gotta hold, push out, cut nigga, cause I'm holding on the bar at the same time while the nigga pulling me, trying to get me. Oh God no, damn. nigga. Real shit. I can't do it. Man, I. <laughs> Man. <laughs> <laughs> mail call come, bro. Mail call is a motherfucker too, bro. What, what, what they do a mail call? Mail call come, bro. You know you get your letters. You know you been waiting all day to see if you got your money on your letter. Niggas telling you you got your money. I didn't read your letters back then, bro. You know. Oh, they Niggas, read, they yeah, read my name Marlon like... Jones, but another nigga, me and me, up there getting my mail. Damn. I don't, hey, look, <laughs> when you finish reading, you get to me, sir. <laughs> oh, so you gotta ask him, when you finish reading your shit. Yeah. Just let me have my pictures. God damn. <laughs> Real shit, bro. Hey, bro, the parents, bro. Hey, what kind of, what type of game the prisoners play? Like, what kind of snake shit they do? Like, when they know you about to get out, but they don't want you to get out, and they go make you get more time. Hey, well, some niggas will set you up. Some people will set you up. Some Knowing people, you're about to come home. Yeah, some people will uh, bring you out your character. Make you do shit you don't want to do, like fight. You know, some of that shit used to be add on charges. Yeah. Oh, uh, shake a nigga. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's simple shit. Get caught with tobacco and shit like this. You know? But I ain't got, not me. Not me. The closer you get to me, the closer I was praying. <laughs> God, it, give man. me the strength to get through this day. Man, so you was like that with Marlo Mike. Yeah. Uh, Marlo Mike was on Eminem. And, um, I used to be on the trustee, running the larger crew. Uh -huh. But uh, we used to go down the hall, and I used to uh, see him in the cell. Mm -hmm. And he used to be up there, let hair on his head, blankets wrapped around him. I thought that dude was losing his fucking mind. Yeah. But then it's come to find out, I was doing the same fucking thing he was doing. And eventually, when I got swamped, talking to myself, Damn. you know what I'm saying? Shit like that, he used to shit motherfuckers down. Bro, you know, like I say, when you on lockdown like that, you got 15 minutes, you have to go. Take a shower or use the phone. And I used to stop by his cell. You know what I'm saying? But once in a while, I just talk. What's that? What's up? He, ain't, he wasn't a talkative person, you know what I'm saying? But he was, you know, good spirit, even though you know he was facing fucking life. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, um, like, personally, get to know him. I didn't know him like best friend, know him, you know. But I saw him. He was in there. We was on the same thing locked up. And, and, and bro. For the love of God, I'm glad I'm not in this situation. Yeah. He's still in there. Yeah. And I'm out. <laughs> He's still in I there. I could never be that in there. Damn. Yeah, bro. Shit. Hey, bro, that trustee was a motherfucker. Now, uh, what, what, what kind of cutthroat games them guards be playing in there? Them guards raw. They ain't have you fool thinking they on your side. Them guards play it raw. Yeah, man. yeah, bro. They had a shift call back then of Lamont. And, Lamont, and uh, Big Harold and, uh, and uh, Cap Douglas, though. Them motherfuckers, bro, 
they was black on the outside, but they, they had to be white on this side, the way they do some shit, bro. Damn. You know, they're wrong. It's, they'll beat the fuck out you for going for, them for help. Damn. For asking to be moved up in line. Puss, get your pussy ass back down in the Damn. The mom used to tell me. Get your pussy ass back down in line. That's what the guards said. Yeah, yeah. I'm coming to you for help, for classification. You sending me back in the dog, in the dungeon. You know what I'm saying? You know, they'll, they'll act like they don't see shit. A lock you in one place in Medicare yeah. and lock that door with all your fucking enemies. And Damn. leave that door locked for about 10, 15 minutes. You know the shit could happen in 10 or 15 minutes with all them motherfuckers. Knowing that they, yeah. they, 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 they know man. they show you enemies. Hey, bro, they'll call it six that call you. They won't be slick. Ask you what's going on on the till. Tell me anybody doing anything wrong. And then you tell the bitch what's going on or what's wrong. That bitch go back and tell the niggas who told you. You told all the fries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the type of shit they do, bro. But as they try to save you, they watch you fight. They did then. They watched me, got my ass whooped many times. God. Lord know what the fuck they going on now when they ain't got but one of them bitches running. Everybody in the queue building. <laughs> I feel sorry for her. Then again, I don't. <laughs> but... Yeah, they, they, they dirty. You yeah. know, even with like pill cars. I used to be mad at pill cars because that's the only time you get to see women in that bitch. Yeah. And when you see the women there, that bitch could be ugly as a motherfucker, but yeah. she look like a Beyonce to you. Yeah. Because you ain't seen one in so yeah, long. Yeah, 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 they got so motherfuckers long. on the phone jacking off. Yeah, damn. While the head's covered up, while the pill car laying in there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. All kind of shit. But like I said, I had to adapt to my environment. I just could never do it. <laughs> so you never adapted to Fuck no, man. Man, I used to think, bro, I used to think some shit that was right was wrong. I used to think what was wrong was trying to get out that bitch so I could get to another thing. I used to think I was wrong. Yeah. But that shit was right. Because I tell motherfuckers, bro, I wouldn't be here today if they didn't have this thing called check off line. Damn. If I had to steal some of <laughs> Now, the check off line, I hear people say hey, you ain't supposed to check off line, but. Fuck what you said you're supposed to check off. You let them check. Man, look. <laughs> every time them niggas turn their head, I had a way to win them. <laughs> Definitely, I'm gone. Check out. Yeah. You check it out. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no hotel, but I'm checking it out. And that's before 11 p.m. Real God shit. damn. Real shit. So what would cause you to check out? There's so many, too many fights? Too many niggas Too many on? fights, see the enemy that you see, the nigga from the street, uh, motherfucker that you owe zoos from, and he so happy to come on your line, Damn. and you thought you was free because you had paid that nigga about a month, two months, and you didn't see it. A lot of shit like that come, but you got to do it before they see you. Because if they see you before they, it's over with, my boy. <laughs> they going to check you out. <laughs> that got to be a crazy feeling. I just living every day scared, like, man, like, I'm scared for my life. Well, we're living in Baton Rouge. Damn. <laughs> it's the same as being out here. Yeah. <laughs> Every day of your life is, a, is a, you know, you don't know if it's gonna be here or not, bro. Yeah, but yeah. to put it to it, you got to be, you got to be able to think. Yeah. And hey, bro, your thinking in there ain't your best thinking sometimes. <laughs> because your thinking think you could beat every motherfucker in there. Man, they got some motherfuckers in there, bro. Just about drama. <laughs> Just they, ain't no good in them. Yeah. Plotting on you. I keep telling you, man, I don't know how many times I, I went home because of this shit, bro. I didn't have this bag, and I do. I just made, I just made money, bro. I just got my money off. Fuck, I went funky for a minute day because I was all the deal for another motherfucker I thought was mine. So when you, when, when you, when your zoos come in, how long, how, how, how long they last? Thirty seconds. Damn. Five seconds. That's me not eating. That's me watching other people. Eat. Damn. Yeah, bro. Hey, bro. Some shit I thought would get better. It so it didn't get better at all. Nah. Hey, bro. It's just being around the same person every day. That drives a motherfucker crazy. Yeah, man. But it also drives a person you around. That drives them crazy too. Yeah. You right. know what I'm saying? Because one day we be best friends, the next minute you fighting that yeah. motherfucker. I don't get it. I saw it, been through it. Yeah, I saw it, been through it, bro. Tell me about, uh, I seen in the comments, a lot of people talking about this guy named Big Foots. Big Foots. His name, that's what the fuck it is. Big Foots? Big Foots. It's, it, he's a big motherfucker, bro. Yeah? Hey, bro, Big Foots do some shit like, what up? And the motherfucker starts sitting down. Damn. You know what I'm saying? The guards move on the side. 
What the shit? And, and, and what made me realize I wanted to be his best friend when I see that nigga knock motherfuckers out. Damn. Yeah, I need to be with him. <laughs> this who and and to get to do this dude, he looked at me as a motherfucker, bro. Hair on his head. And it swole, you know, some shit didn't fit him. He was so fucking big, oh, yeah. you know, leg, shit like that. Like I said, I seen that bitch slap the fuck out of motherfucking dude, did a 360. God and damn. that's what made me got off that tail. <laughs> I went to the gate, filled out a request form. Yeah, I couldn't live with him. Man, I seen that shit. And the dude was my size. Damn. So ain't no need for both of us to go through the same yeah. shit. Yeah. Real shit. I done seen him knocked out motherfuckers bigger than him. Damn. Yeah. Man, this dude here. So what you you got cool with him? Yeah, I got pictures with him now. We just talked recently. I'm still cool with the dude. Yeah. Real shit, man. Hey, bro, it was like a savior when I did got cool with him. You heard? Yeah. It was like if I see him and I did something wrong, I know the niggas after me. Yeah. I'm not gonna stand on the side of foot. Foot's gonna make this shit right. Yeah. I ain't gotta tell him what's going on. It's just man. Man, the way that bitch arm. Oh, God damn. <laughs> Say, bro. It was another one like T Baby that, that people don't know about him. And I used to be with him, he was on A, a Wing, A Wing, him and Jam. And bro, they knew me from the street, but they didn't really know how pussy I was until <laughs> I got in jail. <laughs> when they see me in jail. So you know, hey bro, it's one thing you can put all this shit out here with you out here. But when you're in there, they see the real deal, man. Wait, wait, wait. Them niggas, they know how real I was, bro. <laughs> and I ain't calling myself that, bro. I'm just telling you what the fuck it is. Yeah, yeah, that's And that shit what the fuck it is, bro. Man, I done seen these dudes, man, these dudes with fights in less than 10 seconds. <laughs> God damn. First ain't three seconds. I see he went something three seconds. <laughs> hey, bro, but you get to know them. They're, they're good dudes, bro. But I couldn't do another date with them. God fuck damn. Fuck no. Fuck no. Hey, hey what? Wh wh what was the difference between that new prison and that old prison? You been to both of them? Or yeah, you know the man. I'm, see, the old prison is completely chaos. It's, it's like always chaos. It never was a safe spot in the old prison. If you went to that old prison, nine times out of ten, you go go through some shit. See, the new prison just had you food from the outside. Because the way the bitch looked at this shit like that, mm -hmm. the way it looked. You know, like I said, the floors are clean, the walls are clean, the, the people greeted you more, better, nice and shit like that. And, and, and when I, it came to my mind when I used to hear them dudes say, man, if we go to the new prison, we save. Mm -hmm. Because the guards watch us, they protect us, and they make sure we are right. And that what made me say, God, God, I won't go to the new prison. Yeah. And me not knowing these bitches they had a clue what I was about to go through in the kill building. So it really ain't no difference. Yeah. Because they got the same motherfuckers on this and the old one come to the new one hey. and the new one come to the old one. But you still got the same guards. They all them work together. It really wasn't no, it was just different kind of ass movies you got. Uh, damn. You got put on blast in front of everybody when you got in, in the kill building because it's dawn, like a dawn set. You know what I'm saying? Like a big old jail. It's seven right here, eight right there, three right here, four right there, one and two. But which means, well, you had 30 people saying you get your ass whooped, now you got 90 people watching you get your ass whooped. Yeah. <laughs> and out of the nine, ain't nobody helping Damn. you. Damn. <laughs> nobody helping So you. when you get up, you got to walk around like this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, I just seen dudes got the ass whooped so bad. Well, they couldn't come out to go eat child. Damn. I was one of them. You was one of them. <laughs> we could, they could say, bro, so why would you go out? You'd be shame or you fuck just... Fuck no, because if you go out like that and them guards see you been beat up like that and, and they don't know why your eyes swollen up and your lip busted like that, because they're going to put you on lockdown. they put the whole thing on lockdown. Yeah, yeah. Now you go on lockdown with a bunch of motherfuckers who you think you snitched so, and ran on because they whooped the fuck out and I'm so, hungry. So, so nobody bring you no food back from China? Yeah, every once in a while, nigga, bring me a little nitpick. You know what I'm saying? Just to keep my fucking mouth shut. Yeah. But that's where you still come in. But, well, I was still came in. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, real shit, though, bro. But a lot of shit I didn't expect that, bro. Man, what's one of the most craziest situations, fights or whatever, you seen being locked up in there? Besides, um, we, we talk about the, the mop stick already. Besides that one. Uh, I would say that Going to child one morning, and you know how 
you think everything gone good, everything straight. Mm -hmm. That day, that every, you know what I'm saying? So we was going to child. And as I was going to child, we went through these things. And the thing, um, burn, burn on me. Mm -hmm. So the guard came there and he grabbed my arm and he threw me to the wall. So he threw me to the wall. He put me in the middle of this, it's, it's the keys, two big old um, cells right here in front of the child hall. And he put me in that bitch. So when he put me in that bitch, he locked the gates. So when he came back, he had two more motherfucking dudes with him. One of them, I don't know if he couldn't talk or he just didn't talk. Mm -hmm. But the other one, I don't know what had happened, how it happened. But they got in a fight in the cell with me. Mm -hmm. And we all in the same cell, sitting on this brick stand. So I'm not fighting, but the motherfuckers showing on top of me like I'm fighting. You know yeah. what I'm saying? The guards looking right there like I'm fighting. So uh, we all got rolled up. But the kicker part, I wasn't fighting. You I was just fighting. really sitting there. Yeah. But it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff I can compare it to. But it's just further down. I'm going to get into it. But you have to know all that shit is based on true story. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bro, ain't no shark coming and none of that shit. You have to know how real it is. You know, you got to be prepared for when a motherfucker come in there and you grab them fucking phones. You know what I'm saying? You got to yeah. be prepared for that type of shit. You got to know this shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers ain't going to tell you this shit. You know what I'm saying? You got to be prepared to make three-way calls. Yeah. Nigga said they ain't going to do it. You got to be prepared for some of that shit. <laughs> you got to let nigga talk 15 minutes on your call. You got to be prepared for that shit. You got to be prepared to have your bands taken. If you ain't about that shit, man, stay out that shit. Yeah. <laughs> and that's just the realest talk. <laughs> it ain't no game because ain't nobody got no balls, no basketballs, none of that shit. It's real life. Yeah. You know, my biggest fear, though, We'll stand, what's gonna be it what's gonna be caught up in the system for trying to protect myself. Yeah. That was my biggest fear. You know what I'm saying? If it was gonna ever come to that what I have to kill somebody. Yeah. So I can stay alive. Man, this bitch was so bad back then, bro. Hey. It, it, it ain't nothing about it was pussy. It ain't nothing about it, bro. I done seen guards come in there and get their ass whooped. Damn, it was whooping guards. Yeah. Ass coming in there. Yeah, I done seen that shit. What's one of the craziest things you seen? In the, in that Baton Rouge Parish prison. The craziest things I've seen, I, I can tell you one of the craziest things. I've seen a, a motherfucker beat the fuck out of deputy. Like, like literally whoop the fuck out of him. I've seen a dude get pulled out on stretchers. Damn. You know what I'm saying? I've I, I, I seen me on the phone, and the motherfucker took the phone from me. I want to make a three-way phone call while I'm on the phone with my people. Yeah. I, I, it's, it's, it's so much you can say you saw, but the worst thing I ever saw to me was the ass whoopings I got. Yeah. Yeah, the ass whooping I got. Man, it ain't nothing like a ass whooping on the street. Some of these ass whoopings go on and on and on. Damn. Yeah. Until it's, until, until it's enough. I don't know what it's enough until it says no. Yeah. Until a deputy come walk down there. I done, I done seen a dude on the Christian line, like I say, start the motherfuckers on the Christian line. Yeah. Talking to the the, the chaplain, the priest, whoever the fuck the man don't rep it. Yeah. I done seen him not just giving it, but talked out of it. You know what I'm saying? Damn. I done, I done seen some crazy shit. But it's the shit you don't see is the crazy yeah. shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You miss a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes you'll be laying on, sleeping, and you will hear a motherfucker getting their ass whooped. And then you hear a motherfucker coming in, you hear a motherfucker doing what you're doing. Deputy, hey, deputy, hey, get on the ground, yeah. I thought I used to be, man, they had motherfuckers doing this shit, bro. Bam. This was like, to me, this was like the uh, coolest thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. I keep telling you, bro, I didn't really, I never was safe. To me, I never was safe. Yeah. <laughs> it never was a fucking time that I was safe because I learned that if I don't speak to him and don't say nothing to him, I'm going to get the same results as I do say right. something to him and don't say right, it. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So I was now, sometimes I was in a win-win situation, you know? But I just knew some tears I walked out, I was going to fight. You know, I, I don't know what made me one day build my nuts up to tell a motherfucker wreck call myself. Yeah. Just come from court. I was mad because they shot me back. And me went to come back to the thing. I won't holler, build nothing. 
build my nuts up. Didn't know they didn't hang that far. Yeah. But I tried it, and the, the reaction I got was the one I wasn't looking for. Damn. These motherfuckers get in the circle so fast. When you had a red car, they be like, let's go, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. They... I am keep telling motherfuckers, when I used to hear that word, I used to think a motherfucker see a wreck outside. Because I ain't never knew what the fuck that yeah. meant. I ain't never knew. The first time a motherfucker hit me with that wreck car, bro, I just went out my rack, what, you can see a wreck from here? <laughs> Bam, dead in my eye. Catch this, bitch. Real shit, caught it. Real shit. Hey, but, but be prepared. Like I said, be prepared. Because if you ain't got the right size shoes, they got them for you. They if you don't have enough support to get up and help you get up, they're going to help you out. They're going to keep you in that bitch. Yeah. Damn. Then you ain't going to lose. You're going to lose your <laughs> shit. Bad bro. Socks. Soap inside the socks. You think that shit ain't real, bro? It's real as a motherfucker. That shit real. You think it ain't real when you go to sleep and they playing on pillow to the game, wrapping you up toilet paper all the way. And you like this bitch here trying to wiggle and get out. Damn. And that tall ass shit holding you for the sea is tall as tissue. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Chow, chow. And you can't get the fuck up. <laughs> you hung on you stuck. Motherfucker gate closing on you. You lost all. Damn. Yeah, yeah you couldn't even go get your chow. Yeah, yeah, the pit tissue. Pit tissue gang is a good motherfucking kill. But I did learn something good in that. I learned how to play chess. You know how to play chess. I'll check make the fuck out you now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, hey, yeah, this is like, even like when people be talking about hunts. Hunts different too. Like I tell people, hunts the heartbeat of a lot of prisons. Uh -huh. And what I'm saying, that, that bitch calculates your time before anybody else calculates your time. They yeah. tell you when you're coming home, when you're not going home. But when you get to hunts, everything change. You know what I'm saying? You go to HRDC. You go to your little fox and your beaver. Your yeah, HRDC is pretty much with medical. They're checking you out for all medical, see if you got this and that, checking you out. Yeah. And then they put you on beaver. You know what I'm saying? And then the beaver, if you get a kind of beaver, it's like a lockdown part of hunts. And okay. that's until they really classify you. Now, they work called over there, hunts. You pay. You, you got to work to pay. Yeah. Yeah, real shit. It's more respect thing over there. It's boundaries. At hunts. Yeah, it's boundaries. It's, it's boundaries because they got a lot of OGs in that bitch. Okay. You got a lot of convicts in that bitch. You got a couple of inmates in that bitch. I was one of them. But you got a lot of them in there. And see, hunts make it so good, they got a lot of guards. And they guards are a little bigger than these guards over here. Yeah. And they, and they fool you too, though, because they think, you think they be seeing shit, but you think they ain't looking your way, dude. Right. You, they turn their head one minute. They, now they got some shanks in that bitch. And they got some, some motherfucking con artists and them motherfuckers. A man them have you fucked up. Yeah. They got motherfuckers. I had a, a law library man to have me think I was going home. Damn. <laughs> I paid that bitch some of the zoos. I wanted to kill that bitch when I got home. <laughs> because I thought he was the reason I got home. Fuck, he's the reason they had six more months to me, bro. <laughs> law library man. Yeah, damn. Yeah, but hunt, hunt, you, hunt, you could live in hunts. You can live in there. It ain't, it ain't all piled up like this parish shit. Yeah. It's open. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot more shit to do. You get to go in the gardens and play, dig them people garden shit out. Okay. You get to make irons and chains and shit like that. And you don't get to get your tobacco. <laughs> you know stupid shit like that, shit like that. You can live. You can survive. You got to have money on them books to survive. You got to have a talent, a skill, or something to get paid off. You got to know how to make cards. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Little ribbons with your kids and that shit. You got to have my draw. They got a lot of rappers in jail, though. That's yeah, where they all yeah, at. Yeah, in, yeah, these yeah. bad yeah, in prison. Do. You just ain't discovered them yet, but they there. Fuck. <laughs> but Hunts, it, it's different. You know, like I said, I, I ran across Mac in Hunts. I ran across him again in Hunts. Now I'm getting ready to get released. Oh, oh Mac, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's right, what Mac right. got released from Hunts. Oh, he got released from her. Yeah. Well, Mac had went to Angola too, huh? Yeah. I don't, I don't know if he went to Angola. I know C. Murder went there for sure. I don't know exactly with Mac. I, I, me and Mac was together in Rivers, and we was together in Hunts. Oh, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? I was even able to get in boot camp in Hunts. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Get some of my time off, get that yeah. shit off. Me. And it, it worked. They worked the fuck out of me in boot camp, but I was away. And now I, I was safe there because in boot camp, if you're in boot camp, ain't nobody want to get kicked out. Yeah, yeah. Because if, yeah, if you complete the out. program, mm -hmm. you go home a little early, you get some time. So ain't no, ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't, I was safe. Yeah. Yeah, man, I, that's the only time I might have been safe again. 
in in house in boot camp. In boot camp. Yeah, I did a lot of shit for them motherfucking people, picking ground grass and shit like this. This shit real, bro. It's really a slave camp, cause you working. Right. And you working for free since the best day of my life when they call me at twelve o'clock and say you release. I kiss that fucking ground. What that, what, 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 what that feeling was like? You knew you, like, knew, you knew your release date though. Yeah, I knew. Uh, oh, it was yeah, unexpected. Yeah, I knew, okay. I knew, I knew. That so, was a feeling like catching, like catching a nut for the first time. Yeah. You'll never get. Yeah. <laughs> but you still want. <laughs> That's how that bitch was, bro. It was a good feeling, <laughs> hey, bro. But the shit to go through to get to that point. <laughs> Man, that's like trying to put on a condom for the first time. <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> With no instructions. So, but, bro, so I, you ain't going through that, though, boy. Nah, mm. bro. See, bro. See, the prison, they didn't give me this fucking book, told me the shit that I was going to go through and have to go through. Yeah. They didn't tell me I, I had to get my ass whooped. I ain't had to check out a thousand one lines. I had to like, lose 182 some fucking fights. They didn't tell me. I had to meet, sleep with people I ain't know. They didn't, say, they didn't give you that in that rule book. They didn't tell you about explaining about red call if you fuck up. They didn't tell you that. They didn't, tell you they that didn't that. give me that book that said the phone. If them people would have gave me some of that shit, I probably would have been better off. Yeah. They threw me in the fucking den <laughs> with the no, lions and tigers you, you as no, is. Yeah, no nothing. You I went in no that bitch dumb. I went in that bitch dumb. I went in that bitch dumb, bro. My worst, the best thing came out of me doing time, I got custody over my kids. Yeah, why you was in jail? Why I was in, in jail. I got cussed with my kids. I raised five of my kids. I got cussed with my kids, and I raised them. When I came home, that's how I really changed my life. I raised them and watched them grow with me. Yeah. And my stories I tell my sons, it's very important that you pay attention and you listen to them. Yeah. Because you experienced the same shit with me when I was going through this shit. Yeah. You know, like... I'm going to call you back when I get a chance on the phone. You got to wait three or four hours. But they're not knowing that. I'm telling my dad I'm be seeing that bitch. I don't want to tell them how pussy their daddy really yeah. is because my son is looking up to me. Yeah. But I tell them my stories for, the, for them. To shed light and help them. See, my experience I went through was enough experience for them, but they still don't get that yeah. shit when I tell them that shit. But they hard heads, they knuckleheads, and they won't learn shit. But I tell them when you go, you go. Because I... I did this shit by myself. Yeah. And when you doing that shit by yourself, you fuck. <laughs> hey, when you fuck. Hey, when Drake said no new friends, don't go in that bitch expecting no friends. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lesson I learned. I keep telling people that, man. Man, I used to think cops was bad. I used to think cops was bad. Because every time I see them bitches, I would run. Yeah. I used to think that, you know what I'm saying? But I was doing shit out here in this free world to contribute to that shit. Yeah. And a lot of shit I did got me in that shit. But you know how your mama said hard head, make a soft age. Hard head, pick a soft Not ass. listen, trying to rush and do things without trying to be sneaky. That's how I got on paper. I was off of that seven years probation with seven years suspended. Suspended. And, and, I, and then people told me I could go home. So that's how I, I took that shit. Yeah. And me not knowing that I was on a lifetime journey. Because I was young. And I still felt like I had shit to do. Yeah. You know? Shit, you better grow up quick. You know, like, wait, if you hit this system out here, you retarded. <laughs> you all the way up, baby. <laughs> they got plenty of motherfuckers with stories, but ain't nothing going to tell them like I'm going to tell yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you're going to tell them. You know what I'm real. saying? I'm going to tell you what it really is. And I'm not going to, I can't sugarcoat it. I do that shit for me. Because I feel like it's time that it's been heard. Right. You know? And too many motherfuckers thinking that shit easy. Yeah. Thinking it's safe. All these crimes and shit they doing out here, they think, man, you got to tell them something. Yeah. And if my stories ain't enough to catch them, then fuck them. That's yeah. all it is. Because ain't nobody else going to come tell it like it is. Real talk. Real shit. But you got to tell them to stay tuned. We got some shit coming, man. Yeah, yeah, stay tuned, man. Well, it's part two, man. We got part three coming soon. Say that shit. Say that shit. Marlon, Pee Wee Joseph, Nitty TV. The one and only. <laughs> Be in the building, so y'all get ready, man. How to get, you know, to holler at these people before we get out of here. Man, look, y'all make sure y'all get with Nitty TV. And y'all subscribe to it. Make sure y'all go to Marlon Joseph 42. Y'all subscribe to me, too. Everything, remember, everything I'm telling you is based on real life, man. It's, it's just my stirs. And I'm telling you, they only for to help you. You could laugh about it now, but I was crying then. 
And we'll make it real now, I can laugh with you. <laughs> but I appreciate the bit of you. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Already, man. We out, man. Yep. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs>